Dong Nian Hua village, largely Muslim village uh -huh. near Dali, and then I understand also a very important place in the Tian Horse Road. Yeah. Uh, it was not one yeah. road, of course, it was not from one place to another place, but it was much more like a network of all these like little routes from village to village, uh, which basically ultimately connected. And uh, you can see that the place where we are right now, um, Weishan and Dali, like the Weishan Dali area, was, um, was a crossroads. Most of the times, you know, the, the Mabang, the, the, the caravans would move mm -hmm. only from, you know, a place here to a place here and then move back, you know, deliver the goods and then sell, sell it off. And then another group would take over because right. the geography would change very much. You know, the tea and horse road, essentially there's an, there's an even older road from Sichuan to Tibet. That's how the tea trading started to right. Tibet, uh, because Tibetans were so fond of tea. Um, and they call it the tea and horse road because then the Tibetans, they sent horses back to, to the Chinese. And here, although tea and horses were traded, also a lot of other goods were traded, right. of course. Change of, of tea and horses in different directions, yeah. but then also then see other commodities. Yes, yeah. definitely not only tea and horses. And more more than just a trade route, it, it affected the development of all the stops along the way too. It became yeah. important. You know, these routes were running in the Ming Dynasty. Okay. For sure. So it would be like five, six hundred years ago. Five, so yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, for sure. And the routes were actually the busiest when. Uh, the Japanese invaded a part of Yunnan right here in the, in the, in the west. And they started organizing huge caravans of like um, uh, military supplies for the army to push back the Japanese in the, in the west. So the, there's also a military use to, the, to these routes. Interesting. And a more modern use as well. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This was just one of the many incredible places I got to visit on my month long journey across UNET. Like, share, and explore the rest of the province with me in this 12 episode series.